Some of the resolutions I've been hearing a lot of is wanting to be able to connect with their special person, connect with their soulmate, that soul connection, just to find that love. I'm making this video to let everybody know that has made that as their re resolution, that desire to find that someone, find their person. I'm wanting to let everybody know that actually that is quite simple. All you have to do is love yourself. Love yourself first. That's all you have to do to find that someone. So if you are desiring some your soulmate, your special someone, because you think that if you find them, then you'll finally be happy, I'm telling you right now, that's not the answer. Because I promised you, they can't complete you. They can't. Because... You are already complete. <laughs> Nothing, can, nobody can complete you, okay? So I want you to sit down, take a piece of paper, and write out all the qualities of your special person. You want your special person to have, that soulmate, that like that ideal person. I want you to write down all those qualities you want that person to have, okay? You got it, got them all written down, so okay. Let's say you, you got your qualities all here, right here, written down, right? So, for example, I'll just use, for example, I want my special someone to be honest. I want, yeah, my special someone, I want him to be an honest person. Well, you start being an honest person to yourself. You start being honest to yourself, and once you start showing yourself those qualities, all the qualities that you've written down, you start being that person to yourself first, then you will start to align. You'll start to change and you'll start to align and be able to attract that person that has those same qualities. So once you start to love yourself the way you want your special person to love you, once you start to love yourself that way, that's whenever you start becoming complete and whole. And that is the key to finding and attracting your special person, your someone. That's the key, is to be complete and whole. Because if you think about it, if you're not complete and whole, if you haven't healed, if you haven't dealt with all the limiting beliefs, all the past traumas, all your insecurities, if you haven't dealt with that, whenever your special someone shows up, you're going, all those things are going to surface and they're going to, um, you know, start popping up at the worst times, causing your relationship to become toxic. And then whenever your special someone leaves, your gas tank is going to be half empty and you're not going to be able to deal with it as if you would have been if you were mentally, emotionally, you know, complete and whole. Does that make sense? And actually, um, one way to start working on yourself and getting past those limiting beliefs is hypnotherapy. So I am actually very, very good at digging deep and being very thorough and locating all limiting beliefs and helping you work past those and helping you see the true amazing being that you are and giving you your power back and reminding you that you have control over your reality. I'm very good at that. So if you are interested in having a free consultation, just um, DM me and I will be happy to answer any questions you may have and just, um, yeah, let you know what I offer and how I can help you. So feel free to drop me a DM or comment below. So those were just some thoughts that were on my mind. Until next time, love and light to you all.